it's what's up so today we are going to start with strategic management this forms paper number 7b which is for 50 marks in the exam ca ipc first chapter and first part of business environment presented by me that is ayush sanghi now i am a practicing chartered accountant I have taught at various reputed CA study centers which shows that my passion is to teach. We are trying to impart high quality accessible education through this new channel known as Unacademy CA. I repeat Unacademy CA. This is an education revolution. So please spread the word of this channel, like, comment, subscribe on the link below. This is my Facebook official page, CA Ayush Sanghi. You can ask any doubt or any query on this, on this page. Starting with the first chapter, very basic definition, what is business? Business, as you can see, the word that is made from the word busy. So business represents what keeps a person, an organization or a society busy. So let's understand with the help of certain examples. Roger Federer plays tennis. It keeps him busy. Anna Hazare does campaigns. It keeps him busy. A politician does work. It keeps him busy. I am teaching students, CA students. That is keeping me busy. So any person who is doing any business is keeping him busy. And that is defined as a business in layman terms. Layman terms. In a professional term, as per the management guru, Peter F. Drucker, he defines business in a much more broader connotation. The first component of business is that it is created and managed by people. So what we normally attach to business that is profit is not the primary objective as per Peter F. Drucker. According to him, the first and the most important component is people. And business cannot only be explained in terms of profit cannot only be explained in terms of profit, it is much broader. It. So first, when you think about people and not only about profit, so that will help you maximize your wealth in the long term of the business. So remember the two objectives. First is, it is not just about profit, it is also about people. What are the objectives of a business? So business objectives can be subscribed, can be understood through first let's say growth growth in terms of sales we want to improve our sales from 1000 units to 1200 units that is growth we want to increase our plant and machinery from one to two growth we want to diversify our business from a normal tea business to iced tea that is known as growth so the first objective of any business is growth going forward profitability the prime objective of any business is profitability. Both kinds of profitability, short-term and long-term profitability. So those products that have the ability to make profits are recognized and launched in the market. Second objective, profitability. Third, stability. As soon as one achieves a certain aspect of sales and a profit, they are more oriented towards making it or maintaining it, that is stabilizing it. This is, as you can see, a strategy of least resistance. It's least expensive and risky. Tata Motors has achieved a growth strategy where they have Tata Motors in terms of cars like Indica, Indigo, etc. So now they are trying to maintain stability of their unit of automobiles. Fourth objective is survival. Survival means to break even. When someone starts up a business, initializes a business, he needs to break even. Break even means no profit, no loss. So this is the basic and inherent objective and it's very important during start and economic adversity. Economic adversity means recession. So any kind of recession or boom, a business should be able to survive. And lastly, efficiency. Very, very important point, efficiency. Needed for a business as well as for people like us in our daily lives, it adds value to everyone including customers. So one should always maintain their efficiency. Utilize your resources to the fullest capacity is the only way to achieve 
efficiency and in turn your goals so the way these objectives are arranged they come out in in this mnemonic which is gps say remember business objectives as gps say g for growth p for profitability s for stability s for survival and e for efficiency next is environmental influence on business influence on business what does influence mean so business operates in a particular environment environment in layman terms is known as surrounding what are the surroundings what impacts business what influences business so business environment means surrounding around the business what are the elements in the, in the environment customers to whom we sell lenders from whom we take loans or raw material creditors again from whom we take loans shareholders who buy our shares government the policies which are made by government impact us and finally the society's acceptance all these are elements that are impacting or influencing the business the environmental influence of business has two rules first is the environment drives a business entity whichever environment we are operating in it drives the business entity in kashmir the environmental conditions the type of customers the type of government policies they would drive a market for woolen business entity whoever is manufacturing woolens and vice versa so rule 2 says business activity also drives the environment so both rules are interconnected there are two rules under the environmental influence of business there were certain problems listed in our syllabus in order to understand the environmental influences what are these problems the first major problem is to understand those influences which are there are a variety of different influences as we just saw we saw customers lenders creditors government etc so there are variety of influences in order to understand that which influence is impacting the most it becomes very very difficult the first problem is variety of different influences second future is always uncertain as we know we do not know about the future we do not know about our performance in future we do not know about our results so future is uncertain similar is the case with business no matter however well you are in terms of understanding the business it is always uncertain hence the second problem third is the manager's ability to deal with complexity managers are also humans they are people from earth they are not from people from any other planet hence even they can make mistakes so we face the risk of of mistakes from the managers who are operating a business so three problems in a business a variety of different influences difficult to identify uncertainty and complexity now coming to the next concept that says environmental analysis in order to overcome any kind of problems in a business it's important to analyze which kind of environment a business is operating in so the basic goal of environmental analysis is understanding the current and potential changes current changes as per what are the government policies currently potential means what are the prospective government policies in future gst being implemented in 2016 how will that impact the business next year start thinking from this particular year potential change second inputs for strategic decision making how do you make decisions strategically that would keep you competent in the market what are the inputs and thirdly facilitate strategic thinking enforce your entire staff all managers to think on the strategy lines inject fresh view points into the firm so these three are the basic goals of analyzing the environment understanding the current and potential changes strategic decision making facilitating strategic thinking there are certain characteristics that are important in a business environment the characteristics mnemonic is c d e f i have made these mnemonics only to make you learn rest you may make different mnemonics as well so the first is complexity c for complexity there are so many factors that are operating in a business a supplier of raw material and the government policies that are imposing taxes on that raw material and both factors are impacting us as a business so all factors are interdependent they interact with each other and it makes complex for us to understand that which factor is impacting us more so the first characteristic is complexity 
second dynamic the times the environment is rapidly changing we are a mixed economy so open economy features closed economy features anything overseas impacting us anything domestic impacting us in terms of competition it is dynamic d for dynamic third it has a far reaching effect it is prevalent it is widespread any change made in business would have a far reaching effect and lastly every business is multifaceted which means that different people view the different view the business differently so it has multiple faces c for complexity d for dynamic e for effect far reaching effect and f for faceted multifaceted remember this mnemonic c d e f to remember characteristics of business environment from the characteristics we come to components of business environment the components of business environment are divided into two parts external and internal the name suggests something that is externally impacting the business which is not in the hands of the businessmen or the people who are conducting the business and the second is internal environment of the business something that is internally impacting the environment so two components of business environment external and internal let's study about the external environment the characteristics of the external environment are firstly they are beyond our control as i told you earlier they are beyond our control we do not have any control on competition we do not have any control on the government we do not have any control on on the monsoon of this country so we don't have control on these things they are external second is they are dynamic they keep on changing hence they are again external they can be classified into socio cultural society changes if the society stops consuming vegetarian food and starts consuming non vegetarian food you can you cannot do anything about it so the supplier of vegetarian food cannot do much about it it's an external external factor second is population demography population rises it's an external factor the demand for your product may increase third is economic factor economic recession the sales would go down economic boom the sales would go up external factor legal or political government policies favorable or unfavorable accordingly the business will be impacted technological change outdate typewriter concept now the desktop concept and it has improved to the laptop as well as tablet concept so what we see is change in technology all these things have become redundant and lastly global because we as a country have gone global we had some economic reforms in the year 1991 as you may have read in cpt so all those reforms in 1991 led india to globalize privatize and liberalize so we have impacting us the foreign entities as well so all these factors are external factors that impact any business that exist in india next is the second component is internal environment the name suggest something that is internal to the company or internal to the business they are within our control the characteristics are first it has direct impact on business please remember this direct impact on the business it is within the control of the entity very very important within the control of the entity and it comprises internal management machinery methods of production any other form etc it comprises all of these things three broad characteristics within internal environment now coming to the swot analysis why we are reading swot so soon you will just get to know swot as you know it's a systematic approach to understand total environment we just discussed two types of environment or two components of environment one was external and the other was internal so external environment always poses either an opportunity or a threat whereas internal environment poses either a strength or a weakness a strength is in our control as well as a weakness is in our control so s and w stand for strength and weakness they are relevant for internal environment opportunities and threats which are external to the business they are relevant for external environment external impact on on the business 
understanding briefly first is strength it's the inherent capacity as soon as we use the term inherent it means it is internal to the company which a firm can use to gain strategic strategic advantage over its competitors what can be used for example maggi maggi ka jo masala hota hai that has not been able to nobody has been able to replicate it so maggi still has those huge sales it is their strength inherent capacity weakness maggi could not capitalize on its on its kind of production there was lead found and it became their weakness they could not take the or they could not bear the brunt of it so they had to discontinue their entire stock of maggi and come up with a new stock it was it became their weakness or an inherent limitation or a constraint third is opportunity it's a favorable condition favorable external condition remember it's an external condition in the firm's environment which enables it to consolidate and strengthen its position so it may consolidate and strengthen its position for example something like make in india campaign because of it the tax rate for corporate income tax reduced from 30% to 25% in the next 4 years very welcome move it is an opportunity for people to actually start making an india they would have to pay lesser taxes on the other hand threat it's an unfavorable condition in the firm's environment which creates a risk for or causes damage to the firm example mobile phone mobile phone just did not discontinue the landline concept or the <coughs> or the cordless concept but silently it also affected the alarm clock industry so it's an unfavorable condition it's a threat remember swot strength weakness opportunities and threat so now let's understand what is the relationship between business and external environment the first is exchange of information i exchange of information we are able to exchange good amount of information with the external environment so who operates in an external environment are competitors government suppliers etc all of them would be able to contribute to our learning within a business exchange of information second exchange of resources we'll be able to exchange resources in a proper fashion if we are if we are having a relationship with the external environment more updated resources more proper resources exchange of resources and level 3 is exchange of influence and power in terms of if we have powerful managers operating our business or powerful people who are running our business consuming products made by our business it would also result into exchange of influence as well as power so there are three types of relationships defined within business and external environment information resources power irp or if you want to make make a mnemonic make it rip resources information and power so this was all for today's class please spread the word and be a part of this education revolution remember the name it is un academy ca un academy ca and my name is ca ayush sanghi so like comment and subscribe in the section below and do let us know if you want us to make more videos thank you